we and many others in the community will actually have developed new genetic medicines that treat and possibly even cure some genetic diseases and certain kinds of cancer. My name is Rachel Harwitz. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Caribou Biosciences. We're a CRISPR gene editing company here in Berkeley. CRISPR gene editing is the ability to go inside of cells and precisely change DNA sequences. We use gene editing to develop new therapies to treat cancer and other human diseases. Uh, we've worked with DuPont Pioneer, who's a major agriculture company, and they're using it to breed new crops. Um, we work with a British company called Genus PLC, and they're breeding new livestock, pigs and cattle, um, to really try to tackle animal health and well-being issues. I think gene editing is part of the next wave of medicine, and that's really an opportunity to address, to treat, possibly even cure diseases at the genetic level. Berkeley is a great location for our company and gives us a good location from which to recruit. Um, of course, it's also really nice to be close to the university and in particular continue to be close to Jennifer Doudna and her uh, lab and her institute there as she continues to be an important scientific advisor at the company. I'm proud to say at Caribou we're a pretty unusual organization in the biotech industry. My founding team is 50-50 men and women. Our leadership team is 50-50, the board is 50-50, and the whole organization from top to bottom across the whole team is 50-50. And I, I think that that diversity of thinking and diversity of background is a real strength for us. There's such a significant potential for gene editing to really transform food, agriculture, and how we think about feeding a, an exploding global population. There's a huge amount of potential right now, but so much work still to be done both at the research stage in the laboratory, but also clinical development to prove that this will work, to prove that it's safe, to prove that it's effective, and ultimately bring it to patients.